3D Ursula Sunglasses Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everybody! In today's video, we are going to be showing you a tutorial on how to add a little cute Ursula onto a pair of sunglasses. And the sunglasses I got are from Firmu. And the great thing about getting prescription sunglasses oh. is that you can kind of customize them as far as you can get just about any frames you want, and then you can change the color of the lenses. So I went with Uber Purple. It's called Dark Purple, I think, on Firmu's website. So it's the one that's like extra purple, and it's so purple that when you're looking at things out and about, it kind of changes the colors and makes everything look super extra bright and vibrant and awesome and I keep giving people my sunglasses I'm like here look at that car with these glasses on it yeah and Terrell takes them because he wants to see Yay. different things with the glasses on so that sunglass part of these glasses is just amazing and I hope you guys like the little Ursula as much as I do and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well so here are the glasses that I'm going to be using as my base. They are from Firmu. And if you guys have never used Firmu before, I highly recommend them every time. I'm super happy with the quality. They are super heavy. They're heavy feeling. The lenses are so nice and clear and I guess shiny is maybe the word for it. They're wonderful. I'm always so, so happy with them. And I haven't had a pair that's broken on me yet and I have quite a few and I wear them a lot. And I have a one-year-old who likes to throw them. So that's saying a lot that they don't break or scratch or anything. So to start my Ursula, I'm going to begin by sculpting just like her shoulders and up. Kind of, you know, just like the very top of her on a nail form backing. So I began with a really nice light purple color. And I have her shoulders, that shoulder area. I'm going to kind of add her head. She's kind of a no-neck type of person. So you don't really have to worry about adding much for a neck in there. Just add kind of her head coming up. And I know that this looks basically like a blob right now, but as you're working on it and as you continue to add layers to your Ursula, more and more of her shape will shine through. And in the beginning, expect her to look like a blob. That's just kind of how how it works. So just add what you can here and there. So I have, I just kind of took the tip of my brush and sort of poked in for the lines for her arms, kind of like up into her armpits, and then add her forearms up like, she's got kind of like this shrug, like I didn't do it, sort of a look on her face. So she's got her arms up and she's shrugging. So after you have, that's kind of like the first layer of acrylic down. After you have that first layer done, you can go through and add more layers to anything that you really, that you want to. And you can do as little or as much to this as you would like. So I'm going to be first adding a second layer of acrylic to her chest. So just kind of add two beads there and sort of pull them out and smooth them out. And like I said, you can do as much or as little as you'd like with the acrylic. I mention frequently in my videos that you can do either more with acrylic paint or more with acrylic and that you can kind of go back and forth and you can sculpt more and use colored acrylic for more stuff if you'd like and that is what I did in this with this little Ursula as I did a lot more with acrylic than I normally do I wanted to do something more detailed and just kind of go crazy with it so this is what I was doing so I kind of pushed in her cheekbones pushed in her eye sockets create those little indents there you want to kind of pull the acrylic up towards her nose and I know that it's so tiny and it's such a light color, it is hard to see all of these wonderful details that are being worked into this uh, little sculpture. But it's it's there. And if you don't want to go as detailed as I did, you know, tone it back absolutely and go however far you feel comfortable with, with it. So I'm going to be adding a little bit more to her chin. And the fun thing with this is that with acrylic, you can kind of continue to build up until you're happy. And at some point, you're suddenly going to look at you and you're like, you know what? I'm good. I'm done. I can step away from this and I'll, I'll, be, I'll be good with it. So you can just keep going until you're satisfied. And so then I'm going to be adding her little hands on the ends of her arms. And don't worry about those little arms being really narrow and really thin. They're going to be glued onto the pair of glasses. And so this is just so that you are sculpting on something away from the lenses so you don't take a chance of getting product where you don't want it on the final the final product and the final design so then I'm going to be taking just a touch of black acrylic and I'm going to be adding the top of her I don't really know what to call it it's not it's like her skin but it's like a dress it's like her dress skin so think of it however you want but there's a top of it top of her dress and then with a very shimmery white acrylic I'm going to be adding her hair and if you don't have a shimmery white acrylic I know that's an awfully specific color you can use um just white acrylic and then add some shimmer gel polish to it later if you want but I really like the shimmery element of her hair because she's a, a glamorous sea witch so she's got lots of little hints of glamour on her she's got a necklace so well 
she's got the shell necklace with Ariel's voice in it, but she's got earrings that are, are pretty fancy. And just to her eyeshadow and everything, she's very glamorous. So the shimmery white hair just seems awfully appropriate to me. So I added the little gold, I just did a circle. I didn't actually worry about sculpting a shell, but a little gold circle for the shell necklace. And then a darker purple, I'm going to be adding her little shell earrings sticking out from the sides just little little tiny bits there and then with teal acrylic I'm going to be adding just ever so slight a hint of her eyeshadow it's so small that these little details are really really little so it doesn't take much acrylic at all to be making any of these shapes after you have all that done you can take and glue Ursula to the glasses I do have it glued so that you do see a little bit like her top of her head and a little bit of her hand sticking up from the top of the frames but you can um, kind of have peace of mind that they aren't going to break by filling in behind them with a lot of clear acrylic so definitely bulk them up back there and then I'm going to be adding the rest of her body with some more of the black acrylic obviously I didn't know for sure how it would fit on there perfectly and I didn't want to take and sculpt her whole body out and have so much of the lens covered so that's why I did just like right I kind of cut her off at the boobs and then you can go through and fill in the rest of her body and you can easily wrap it around the lens so you don't have to worry about getting it where you don't want it so just kind of tuck it in around the lens I'm going to be adding a couple more beads of black acrylic just to smooth out the transition and while I'm doing that I'm going to quickly mention that the purple element of these glasses is phenomenal so I've had I have prescription sunglasses and I've said you know I want them as dark as you can get them I want them to be as blue as you got or whatever color from different uh, eyeglass stores that I've been to and they never really have been like a light blue hint and I wanted a color these sunglasses are as purple as it gets and it's hilarious because when uh, Terrell and I were just taking a little drive around the downtown of our city or town or whatever you want to call it and he said well how does that sign look with your glasses on I'm like well it, it looks you know like neon red and he go really need we'd be a stop lady go well let me see and he kept taking my glasses because he wanted to see how different things looked with this purple the purple lenses on them because it was it changes colors and it makes certain colors look so vibrant and so amazing it just sort of I don't know gives you a whole new perspective on the world so the color is amazing but then going back to my little Ursula design I highlighted the black of her dress with some blue so a very dark blue but that's just going to give it a little bit of that highlight and then for the outlines around her chin her shoulders her arms her fingers all of that I used a kind of like an eggplanty purple color just to not have black outlines but to definitely give it some contrast so you can see all of her little shapes add some white highlights to her hair add some gray highlights or gray low lights to her hair just kind of add some more more to her hair then with purple I'm also going to be doing the first layer to her lips and I don't know you maybe are they like purple her lips are red yes but in case your lips aren't perfect the first go around if you do them with a color that's like the purple if a little bit shows around the lips it's not going to be a problem plus that's going to add some depth to the red color so don't worry too much about it if you do that adding a second layer to the blue on her dress because my blue dried and you couldn't see it anymore so I'm like I need some more of that I'm going to be adding the cord of the necklace filling in her teeth with white I also added her eyes with white they're little teeny tiny slits and then I'm going to take with black I'm going to be adding her eyebrows my first go around with her eyebrows I thought they got a little bit too thick so I went and I thinned them out later on you'll see with some lavender color paint that blends in fairly well with my acrylic but then you are also going to need to add her lash lines and her pupil and her little teeny tiny lash lash lines her eyes are very squinty and very small so they are super tiny in, in this little design another little pupil just like that and then with red I'm going to go through oh with black I'm going to separate her upper and lower teeth and then with red I'm going to be filling in her lips Ursula is a character that's always been one of my favorites I have had a couple different Ursula designs so if you guys are interested in any of my past Ursula designs I will put links to those in the description box below and if you guys are like you know what this thing isn't on a nail I wish it were on a nail you can take all of the steps that I have used for this design and apply it to a nail and it would be amazing you could sculpt Ursula directly on the nail. You wouldn't necessarily have to do it on a nail form backing and then go to and then glue it on. Or you can if you want, up to you. Uh, but this, the whole tutorial could certainly be used for a nail design. 
and it would be awesome and I'm super jealous of that idea and now I want this on my nails. So I'm going to take and I've got rhinestones and pearls, a whole array of them laid out next to me so I can kind of pick and choose as I go and with some nail glue I'm going to be gluing them onto the glasses and as far as durability goes this holds up very well the nail glue does but you don't want to be stingy with it you want to make sure that you apply plenty of nail glue so that the nail glue kind of wraps up and around each rhinestone and pearl so it kind of grabs it and tucks it in otherwise they might pop off but as long as you do that and you are fairly generous with the glue you shouldn't have any issues with with them popping off on you unless you're sitting there picking at them but as long as you're being nice to your rhinestones they'll be nice to you just fill in all around miss ursula with those and now i'm going to be making a little a uh, little um, shell necklace i couldn't think for a second a little shell necklace shell to go on the other side of the glasses so i've got ursula on one side and the shell on the other just so that there's something fun on both sides of them so back a couple years ago oh it's been a long time now four or five years ago almost four and a half i guess I was Ursula for Halloween and I painted myself purple and I had my tentacles and I had the whole nine yards and I had this huge skirt and I was working in a salon. It was a work day for me and it was Halloween and I did pedicures with that whole get up on. It was actually fairly hilarious. So there's another little Ursula story for you. So after you have your little shell done, take it off the nail form back and glue it onto the glasses. Do a couple little outlines with black. You don't have to go overboard. That gold um, acrylic should really do most of the work there for you. Then same thing, I'm going to be filling in around them with plenty of rhinestones. I also have a little crescent shaped gold stud that I used on this side. Like I said, I just had a whole bunch of stuff laid out and I would grab something and be like, you know what, I think this one should go here and I would use them where I, where I thought they would be the best fit. And try to look back and forth from one side of the glasses to the other so that your frames look balanced so it's not like you have rhinestones halfway around on one side and then a third of the way around on the other so that one side is so much more uh, covered than the other so you want to keep it as balanced as you can and after you have all that done I'm going to take some gel top coat and I'm going to mix that with some glitter so I've got kind of a purple green glitter mix that I have very iridescent absolutely gorgeous and I'm going to mix those all together to make my own little glitter gel and I'm going to be applying that all the way around on the frames this element of it I couldn't decide if I wanted to do or not it was part of my initial plan to have this glitter border on them and then I was looking at it and I loved the rhinestones and I loved the really dark frames I'm like do I want to add the glitter and eventually I decided yes I did let let me know guys in the description box or in the comment section below if you like the glitter or if you like them better without the glitter I still can't decide I love the glitter and I love the glitz of it but I also kind of like the dark mysteriousness of the really dark frames so I couldn't decide and I'm still unsure so let me know what you guys think I'm certainly I don't know I like opinions so then finish off I took some more of that glitter down the temples of the glasses apply some matte tap coat over Ms. Ursula and over the seashell and that is it I've been wearing these glasses everywhere <laughs> everywhere I can if it's sunny when Terrell saw them he goes oh my goodness you're gonna be wearing those everywhere aren't you and I looked I'm like um yeah you can bet on that so if you guys like it as much as me and please take me in any recreations I would absolutely love to see them and I will see you in my next video bye